everybody, this is Tanya from Move Your Body Online, and today we're going to do a full upper body stretch using our whole roller. So get yourself your whole roller, and let's come on down to the mat, everybody. And if you are in need of a roller, just let me know, and I'll point you in the right direction. And we're just going to lay down on the roller. So make sure your whole body is on the roller, and just spend some time just letting your body sink, melt, into the roller. The wider your legs, the less core you're going to use, the more stable you will be. The closer you bring those legs, the more core and less stable you will be. So let's bring those arms up to the ceiling and just take a nice circle around. Now if you close your eyes, it's going to make it a little bit harder. So you decide, but using some deep breaths, Feeling those shoulders relax into the roller. And then change directions. Whatever size circle you'd like to make. Big, small. Just keep your rib cage um, uh, down on your body. So you're stable through your core here. Nice. And then come to center and then just you're gonna open and close a door knob. So just from the shoulder, so this beautiful shoulder joint is a ball and socket joint. It moves around and we want to make sure we're going to bring the hands down to the side now and just rolling it, feeling that work in that beautiful shoulder joint. Good, and then rest your palms face up and just feel that stretch through the chest, biceps, oh, nice. Then bring those arms back up to the ceiling and you're going to reach the ceiling pulling those shoulder blades apart. So reaching up and down, up and down, opening through the shoulders, wrapping them around the roller. Breathing. Nice. And then just one arm and then the other. So our shoulder blades can get sticky on our back. So we want to unstick them. Good. And this is the perfect, gentle way to do it. Great. And now we're going to do a nice scissor kick. So opening up the front of the shoulder, maybe feeling a stretch in behind the back of the neck. Using the breath. Softening your face, your neck, your shoulders, and then see if you can take both arms behind, tucking the chin to the chest, lengthening the back of the neck. And now just bring those arms into cactus. So if they don't touch the floor, that's fine. Roll out your wrists. Change directions. And then wiggle those fingers nice and long. We grip all day long, so just wiggle them out. Stretch them, and then release down to the floor. And just notice if you're a little closer to the floor. Getting those elbows down. So this is so important because we get really tight through the pecs, our shoulders, our chest, which rounds our posture internally rotates our uh, humerus bone, which pulls our arms forward. So there's no, sh like you can be in this position for half an hour and it, it would be all good. So don't rush this here. Just take some time to breathe in and out. Beautiful. And then bringing your hands down by your side. Taking a nice deep breath in. And out. And then slowly peeling yourself off the roller, all the way down onto the floor, and letting your spine just release, relax, and melt into the floor. Palms face up just to open up those shoulders. Deeply breathing into the belly. Nice. 
Nice. Now we're going to roll up, or we're going to take the half or the whole roller behind our back. I'm just going to take my shirt off because it's very loose and it'll catch while I'm doing this. So we're going to put our hands behind our head. And what I want you to do is just come down slowly and stretch back up. Now your head does not have to touch the floor. So you're using your hands to help support your neck. Down and reach up. So, and you can inch your bum a little bit forward or back just to have a, a play around with the different vertebrae here. Good. Okay, and come into center. And now you're just going to roll to your right side. So you're going to get into that armpit. So a lot of us are, you know, wearing bras or tight clothing around our section here. And um, we want to not always do that because we want some freedom with these lymph nodes to move fluid easily around in our body. So this is just a great stretch getting into that armpit and breast area where we have a lot of action happening. Good, and then just hold it here and extend that bottom arm, so that would be my right arm, and just circle, you might hear some clunking, that's okay, and change direction so you're on your right side here, your left butt cheek is lifted off the floor. Oh, it feels so good. And then just put it behind your head, close your eyes, take a nice breath in, and then swing your body over to the left side. Good, so rocking in, to that shoulder joint, armpit area. You can scoot your bum up and down, getting into the ribs. You decide. Just play with it. Nice. And then let's hold it here. Circle that bottom arm. If I had a cameraman, he'd probably swing over to my left here, but it's just me, myself, and I here. And change directions. Good, circling that around here. And then hand behind, take a nice breath in. Oh, that feels good. Sometimes you get a spot and you just want to play around with it. Nice, and then come back to center. And then take a nice stretch open and see if you're a little more open through the chest. Now, only if your head is touching the floor can you lengthen your hands behind you. Nice. Lift your head back up. Now bring the roller down um, as low as you can get it and put your hands behind your head. Lift your bum and you're just going to rock and then twist. Oh, and each vertebrae is getting a beautiful little massage here. Move that up. Rock and twist. And again. So each vertebrae, so they are independent of each other. So it's good to find them and give them a little kiss with the roller, some loving. And notice which ones feel stickier. The higher we move up in our body, they can tend to be a little less mobile. That's why this is important to do. Oh, that feels good. And just don't get up onto your neck. Just as high as you can, but not on your neck. And then we're going to take a nice roll down the back, back up again, and then put your butt back down and take another nice stretch. And again, you might find that you are opening more and more. So if your, hand, your head doesn't touch the floor, put your hands behind your head or rest it on a block. You can bend your knees or straighten. Take a beautiful breath in, opening up the front of that body. Nice. And bring your head up. Perfect. Now we're going to roll on to this part of our arm. So you're just going to take your shoulder in here and rock back and forth just at the top of the shoulder. Okay, and then you can begin to move down into that bicep, tricep area. Just gonna do a little bit here. 
And then you can hold it in a spot and you could circle, oh, that feels good. Circle, change directions. Hold it in a, v, in a 90 degree and move back and forth. Oh, get in there. Just play around with it. You know your body, what needs to have some work done to it. Just stretch it and release this beautiful fascia. Nice. And, oh, let's take a little stretch here. Stretch over, opening up the side of the body. So again, if you're tight, this is not gonna feel great, but the more you work to loosen the body, to stretch and release, the better it's going to feel. Nice. And then let's flip over to the other side. My outfit matches my roller today. Good, taking that shoulder up onto here, rock back and forth on the shoulder, side to side. Oh, that feels good. Remember, you can go to 90 degrees, you can circle. Again, just play around with it. Feel what feels good. Like this is, I can feel this. I can feel this in here. Good, coming down. Get a little more into the tricep. Fascia, think of fascia like a sausage, it's the coating. And if the, the meat and the, the liner gets stuck, there's tension. And the looser we can make this, the better hydration we get in our body, the more flexible we start to feel, that sort of thing. So this is all good. So rest this underneath here and extend that arm over. And you can kind of rock back and forth. We didn't do that on the other side, but I just, do it on this side, getting in between those ribs. Oh, nice. Beautiful stretch coming up. Great. Okay. We're just going to open up the front of our neck here. So laying on our tummy, taking the um, arms up through here, and just put your left ear to the floor. Noticing where that left ear touches. Breathing. And then right ear to the floor. And then come back to center. And let's just stretch out the front of the body. So we're going to reach forward, draw those shoulder blades down on our back, and slowly just come up. So you may only be here or here, doesn't matter. And just reach up. And if you want to let go of the roller and just stretch up through here, that is fine too. Just make sure your shoulders are away from your ears so you don't want to be here pressing down. It's going to be a little harder on the roller because it's an unsteady surface. Pressing those hips down into the floor. Stretching, opening up the front of the body. Slowly rolling down. And then bring yourself up into a child's pose. Using that roller again, toes together, knees wide. Stretching down, opening up through the chest and the armpits. You can put one temple to the floor and then the other, or just keep your forehead down the ground. And then rolling all the way up. And let's just finish with the neck. So we're going to take the roller behind the head here. Good. Coming all the way down to the floor. Make sure it's nice and cozy. And just rock your head left to right here. Oh, that feels so good. And then hold it to the right and just rock on the right side. And then keep it smaller. And 
and then circle. And relax the tension in your face, neck, shoulders. Change directions. And then hold it on a spot and just relax from the crown of your head all the way down to your hips. And then take your head to the left and move it back and forth. And then roll it up. Change directions. Hold it on the spot, relax any tension you feel from your head down to your hips. Come back to center and draw a nice big figure eight on the back of the neck. Or sorry, not the neck, the head, the back of the skull. And then shake your head, or nod your head, big yes, yes. Yes. And then just relax. Mm. Letting go of the tension in your forehead, eyebrows, eyes, cheeks, throat, jaw, neck, shoulders. Lift your head up with one hand, remove the roller. Come flat to the floor. Oh. Turn your head to the left and the right. And release. Take a nice big stretch. And I hope you enjoyed stretching out your upper body using a roller. It's a great piece of equipment to have. And thank you for joining me at Move Your Body Online. And I look forward to seeing you in our membership group where we have lots of fun, do a lot of uh, different classes. And um, have a great day, everybody.